first century superhuman And I know that the answers are inside Yeah, I am the 21st century superhuman Now, now, now is the time Come, come Come on, everyone, let's celebrate. We are the children of the sun. I can see you when I look into your eyes. We are the same, and we are light, and we are one. Hear now, hear my ancient prayer and sing along. We are awakening as one. And we can make difference yeah we can be the change it takes to make the world a lot more fun well if you're feeling kind of down and you need some inspiration to remember who you are oh now child please don't frown you can choose a new vibration and these words can take you far First century superhuman and I know that the answers are inside. Hi there, Tom. How are you today? Great. Fantastic to be with you again. Yes, it's great to be with you too. I'm Carrie Ellis, author of the 21st Century Superhuman Book Series, which are guidebooks for our times. I encourage everybody to have them, to read them. Set them next to your pillow so you can absorb when you're sleeping or on your phone or computer, same thing. And our website is 21stCenturySuperhuman.com. And I'm excited to have Tom here with me today. We are going to just chat about structured water, cleansing, fasting, how we get the things out of the system, out of our bodies and out of what surrounds us in order to be more vital and more healthy. And Tom, you've been on quite a journey, right? Exactly. Yeah, it's it's been to hell and back. <laughs> wow. Well, we want to hear about some of that. You and I met probably nine years ago, maybe, at a, um, a plasma energy workshop in Eugene, Oregon. And yeah. I feel like I've known you like my whole life, but we did meet up there. And you reintroduced me to blue-green algae, which I had been around previously. But I know at, at the time, um, I know you grew up when you were six or seven years old, you were helping your parents harvest blue-green algae for your family's use. And it kind of set you on a path where your brain was maybe more clear than a lot of people's are. And um, tell us a little bit about your journey and how you... Uh, you know, even got started when you were so young. All right. We can say it's kind of like being a rebel from the womb. And it really is uh, questioning, uh, always, you know, not taking just the status quo as, as good enough. And so always wanting to know more. I think that started, you know, as early as I can remember. It just, I wasn't aware of it, you know, outside of myself. And yeah. I think a lot it, of us have that. You know, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I was writing why and what is truth on my papers in elementary mm -hmm. school. Like, where mm -hmm. did I come up with that? But right. I think a lot of us came in knowing that we were going to be part of this change, mm -hmm. that we were going to help change take place, that we were going to change ourselves to right. change the world. Yeah. And, and it is interesting. Uh, I think Dolores Cannon, she said, if we knew the answers, it wouldn't be a test. Earth school. Very good. That's cute. I love mm -hmm. it. Dolores Cannon, if we knew the answers, it wouldn't be a test. Wow. And so how did you go from this kind of like awake state? As a and really blue-green algae is one of those superfoods that can really help open up our neurobiology, our brain cells, our pineal gland, right? I mean, you know it really more about is. it than I do. Yes, it really We were working with a researcher that was used to work in Los Alamos laboratories and wow. he, you know, it's back in the '80s when things weren't weren't very uh, open in the health world because of the FDA and and different regulations. You, know, you couldn't say a lot of things for dealing with people's issues, and you know, it it was a tough time to to start learning because there wasn't much information. 
you know, you had to go through it. So, you know, the algae, uh, I think initially the government actually did a study at one point to stockpile this for national emergencies, stockpile wow. this algae. So it was really powerful superfood. And we yeah. started harvesting it at the lake with the window screens and setting it up in the sun, wind to dry. And it was kind of doing it the hard way, but it, it served its purpose. My dad had cancer uh, early on, like 85, I think. And he, uh, he had uh, bladder cancer. And then he, another 10 years, he didn't do anything health wise other than just eat algae for 10 more years. And then he had a brain uh, tumor that, that ended up taking him out. So, uh -huh. so, but it, it was, it was powerful because even though he was eating, you know, just, uh, we were living on a farm, so we had homegrown, uh, fruits and vegetables, but it wasn't the quality that we can have. So, right. And, and I think so, all of those, you know, my dad died at 59 of cancer mm -hmm. and, um, and yeah. he was relatively health conscious, you know, compared mm -hmm. to the world at large, but not, you know, super doing anything mm -hmm. super duper, but, um, but still it's those losses too, I think that have inspired right. people like us to keep searching, keep searching for answers, knowing that really there shouldn't be this kind of early death and right. even cancer shouldn't take over people's lives and bodies among other things and other degenerative conditions. That brings up a very good point because yeah, you so, know. I mean, we're talking clear back in, uh, in the, 50s and 60s, you know, people getting measles, uh, you know, polio, all these kind of things had this uh, a certain level of toxins versus what it is today, but a certain level of toxins. And I even, you know, see, read some information that suggested that it's like pre-programmed death, you know, when they do these right. jabs, say, as a childhood, you know, immunization yeah. or whatever it was, these kind of things are like pre-programming when you're going to expire, you know, the body. Yeah. So and, and even now kids are getting like up to 74 of those in right, their early right. childhood and infancy. Mm -hmm. I will say about the blue green algae that you mm -hmm. and I um, have done a couple of other videos together. They're on my YouTube channel. And mm -hmm. we talked about ways to use the blue green algae, how we use it. And um, I don't even know if I have an accurate, I should go back and look at those if I have an accurate link for people to get it, but mm. which I can talk to you about a little bit later. Right. Um, but yeah. um, we're going to go on and talk about other things today rather than getting deeper into that. But um, you used to make like a big gallon, you just kind of taught me to, mm. where you put just a spoonful of it in there and you let it sit 24 hours and then you have this water that's this turquoise blue color. And you can just drink it, and uh, it's so good going through your body. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, think about it. You know, drinking these colors, it's color therapy. You know, it's it's the minerals, it's life, and it's right. like so solar energy because algae is the closest thing to the sun. You know, as far as the the next step down in in light light information. That and is really wonderful. That is a wonderful thought is stepping down kind of light information mm -hmm. into this dimension mm -hmm. in a way that we can access it. And right. then there it is formed into the blue green algae by the photosynthesis. Mm -hmm. That is really a great, great thought. Super I love powerful. that. So yeah, yeah, it's a brain food. And I noticed a huge difference in taking that every day. And if I want to have uh, a high amount of energy for the day, I'll take more. And it's just sustained, you know, for hours. It's sustained energy. That is it really is. cool. And I bet I've kind of gotten into keto lately. And I bet mm -hmm. you you don't get an insulin elevation from uh, blue green algae. That's a really good thought. Mm -hmm. I like that. Right. Um, I have mine with me, and I just don't have a big jar. But I need to find a jar that I can at least put some in, and so we can. Right. We've been using it off and on, but mm -hmm. I want to get back into the regular habit with it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, you went on from <clears throat> blue green algae, and really um, that being one of your primary focuses to structured water, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that journey and what, yeah. why, and how? Yeah, so back up a little bit to the blue green algae. We were around that and working together with it as a family into the early 90s. And then I got away from it. The, there was a lot of FDA regulation and stuff. So we're, the company we were working with got shut down. But fast forward to, to 2000, 
11, I think it is, 2011, 12, something like that, where I got back into the algae. And it happened, you know, once again, like a health crisis or questioning what's going on in my body. So reaching out and finding more answers. And then the water came along over almost the same time. So the structure of water, I've heard about it on a podcast and something something clicked. And I knew I went from drinking uh, two you know, medium-sized glasses of water a day to a gallon a day, just immediately by running through a structuring device. And it was just huge. And then I got the shower unit and I, I said, now I want to know what's, what's going on here because I had dry patches, you know, in the winter time being in Montana at the time, I had dry patches on the sides that, of the skin and they immediately went away with just adding the structured uh, water in the shower. That's and they never came amazing. Back. So, so that was really profound. And then I just said, I, I got to know. So now so I just did you, dove, can you explain dove. the mechanism of why and how that works? Right. It's the hydration effect in the skin and it all happens to the spin. So as you pour water on the top of a mountain, it runs down and it does these vortices. It's vortexing the water as it's going and it's cleaning and, you know, breaking the molecular bonds to where it's a, a smaller amount of molecules per cluster. So you get this hydration effect that goes into the cell through osmosis and also into the aquaporin channel there that it has to break it down to one molecule to get through this channel. And this is what this technology can do is, is create this live enlivened water. It's like, it's basically restructuring because as the water comes down the mountain, it becomes slower and slower as it gets down into, you know, um, the flatland, so to speak, and it pools up and it starts becoming stagnant with, with human pollution. So right. we can re, we can bring that back into a higher state of, of living like it was up on the mountain. And the snow melt is the closest thing in nature to, to fully uh, in charged water. Wow. So the, um, so the structured water that you work with and the systems you work with, which mm -hmm. I'm familiar with um, are basically mimicking nature in mimicking order to uh, develop uh, really high frequency water, I love that. That's just mm. really a beautiful explanation of structured water. And it is. It's, yeah. It's, it's a frequency because another thing to understand about ionized water, the difference is, is ionized water with these plates is pulling the molecule apart through electricity. This technology does it through nature principles without uh, force. It's a power right. that's activated within the water molecule versus uh, pulling apart through electricity. So we're going to look at some slides that you have to share and we'll talk about, I think we, I think you and I did a video on blue green algae and I think we did one on structured water. Um, I have to go back and look, but I'll put the mm -hmm. links under this video when I post it um, here on Twitch and on YouTube so that people can see the additional things we've talked about. Anything yeah. else you'd like to present to us? I know we have a series of slides to look at mm -hmm. with you. Um, yes. Do you want to so go to those or? Yes, we can just go through this because there's, there's so much to uh, expand okay. on there. Yeah, there's a lot to expand on. So, so yes, it, it's really the body's ability to be hydrated is the key for all life. And in our, in our daily life, it, you know, whether we're um, working or sleeping, it, it's just critical to have the ability for the body to clean itself. We're so used to hearing about hydration in our culture. You just drink more water. But what you've just told us is that through the kind of electronic systems we use and the lower level lands, because the water's not moving anymore through nature's uh, structuring system, we are drinking water that can't hydrate us as well. That's right. Correct? Yes. And another key thing to bring up even now is the microplastics that are being found in the blood. In our blood is microplastic. So bottled water, you know, people think that, oh, I'm, I'm drinking purified water. Well, the water is hungry. So it's, it's unbalanced. It's pulling the plastics into itself. So we're drinking that water. We're, we're bringing this microplastics into the body. Now, when we structure that water, when we re recharge it to its life potential, it balances everything in its sphere of influence. So now the plastic itself is no longer leaching. And that's a huge the huge uh, thing to be aware of everywhere we go and use water, the container, the everything that the water comes 
through and by is picked up in its memory. And what, if that water is balanced, it can maintain. If it's not, it's going to be pulling things from its environment to balance. Yeah, I've gotten the habit of drinking out of some plastic bottles just because they're I've been traveling and they're mm -hmm. convenient. But I should probably, do you recommend glass? Well, glass is it's heavier. You know, it is nicer to, to, uh, to be more stable in. But the main thing is if you're going to be traveling is just to use structured water in the plastic bottle. There's no more Great issue. idea. So that's so if that's we if I take um, our, we have one of the little small structures mm -hmm. and um, if I hold that under the our spigot on our purified water or put it into the drinking bottle, um, how long will that last? Yes, that can last for you know like seven days on average, okay. and and it could be longer. It depends on the environment that the water is in after it comes you know after it's out of the faucet. Good. Okay. That's good info. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, it, so you're talking about hydration. Right. Hydration is, is critical. You know, there's so many things where even if we're taking in a certain level of toxicity, the hydration mitigates a lot of that. So just ability to flush it out of the cell and keep it from going into our tissues is, is the main thing, you know, because as the, with the spin, the right, the spin pulls things, you know, inside the water molecule and the left spin holds it outside on the surface. So as it's pulling the toxins in, it's flushing it out of the body. So it can, mm. it can create this wonderful way of, of living. You know, it's, it's the people come into like my world where I have the structuring in the whole house and right. it's just interesting to watch the shift as they're, you know, coming into the space, but also dr just drinking a glass of water. Like within wow. an hour, they're a changed person, you know, just talking to them, you, you start to communicate differently. That's amazing. So do you, um, do you still drink a gallon of water a day or because you have structured water everywhere in your house, you're kind of getting it through the shower and everything else? I, I do close at least three quarts, at least uh, I do close to a gallon a day. Yeah, that's pretty wow. standard. It's just amazing. And, you know, then if you, the nice thing about it is having that levels of hydration in the body, you're more resilient in your environment, whether you're right. around people or, or technology that's, that's uh, denaturing or destructuring that water, then we have more resiliency. So say like, if I, if I don't drink that much for a day, I'm okay. You know, I can go for a day or two without being, uh, you know, at that level of, of in ingesting and it's it's no problem so we nice. can do uh, uh, the fasting uh, water fasting and the nice thing about having the like uh, blue green algae with that blue green water is being able to do a fast you know with that type of water wow that's a great idea banner go by let's it see. has your phone number and your email on if it you, so if somebody wanted to stop the video they could get your number or get your email and contact you. You know, we're not trying to sell things really, but if people want to learn more, they can get a hold of you and find out how to access resources. Exactly. Yeah. There's so much information. That's just, you know, a lot of things that tips and, and things that we've learned to make it easier. You know, like uh, I went through the hard way to learn because nobody really taught me. I, I pushed myself beyond what the information shared. Right. I found out a lot more things and, and literally a new world is awaiting for us. The moment we decide to step into it, it's, it's literally that simple. It's just a mental block that we have. And this is created from a lot of sources, but if we just trust our ability to, you know, to be okay, to be all right in any moment, then we can literally just step forward into something that we don't know, but our intuition or our, our soul is guiding us and just experience it, allow nice. this experience to happen. And that nice. new world is, is right there. The body can't regenerate itself when it's full of mucus, parasites, toxic chemicals, heavy metals, and dead animal flesh. Mucus forming dairy products, refined sugars, and processed foods take care of your body. It is your temple. You know, it really is. It's like uh, being able to access the God code. It becomes much more clear when we have our temple cleared out. Right. You know, the... Every human is a double mystery, the mystery of himself and the mystery 
of the body he or she is in. So you have the lock and the key to those mysteries. Your body is the lock and you have the key to the lock. Through your body, you know and understand the mysteries of nature and of matter. Spirit and light are the operator of your individual body machine. They operate solely with nature, your nature and the nature around you. Learn the mystery and the body will stay in a per- state of perfection, regenerate and restored. You know, it all comes back to ascension. If we want to ascend out of the third dimension, the body is the, that's what we have to work with. That's what we can always work with every moment. And, and that is our vehicle to yes. transcend this dimension and, and, you know, heaven on earth. This is yes. what we have. And, and I, I like to say about ascension and that process is that when we clean up the body and when we live in heightened ways, we are allowing ourselves to capacitate more of our own consciousness, of divine consciousness, of mm-hmm. the higher frequency aspects of our being. We can capacitate and resonate love, telepathy, synchronicities. Um, I think you're going to get into that in a minute, but um by taking care of this vehicle, we become a better capacitor for our own greater self. All right. And the, and the water is the multidimensional aspect. It holds all the information in the universe, in the multiverse. So, you know, we change the quality of water and we change what we're the ability or what we're avail- what's available for us to perceive. Yeah. That's a really interesting thought because, um, and I know you have an Emoto slide in here, mm-hmm. Um, but when we uh, when we think of oneness and we think we're all connected, and then water is connected to everything, like there's that Rumi saying that says, "I'm a drop in the ocean, and I'm the ocean in the drop." Mm-hmm. And so it is that what makes us really realize our connection mm-hmm. with every with all things. All right. And that's, that's what our journey here on earth is, is to put the pieces together. So the truth comes in pieces, pieces you have to put together to see the big picture. And I look back, you know, after experiences, I look back and see, yeah, if I would have just, if I would just had more pieces to the puzzle back then, (laughs) how much easier it would be. Spiritual knowing will have, will never have a written understanding. And this is true in the, you know, you can see it in, in expressing to those around you or in your circle, the people who can, you know, who can see you or who can understand, understand, you know, the, the concepts and ideas of what the spiritual nature of life is. Yes. Beautiful. And each cell of our body is a jewel. It is time to expose what is underneath all of our emotional wounds and scabs so that we can come out into the light and heal all of our emotional wounds, thereby illuminating all of the cells of our bodies. Once our emotional wounds are healed, each cell of our body becomes a transcendent jewel. Transcendent jewel. Like what you talked about when you started taking showers in structured water and these uh, dry patches went away from your skin. It's like cleaning up the cells can help get rid of our emotional wounds and our scabs and our old things that we're carrying around. Yeah. Yes, and this is very a good time for this because the what I noticed in cleansing the internal so the external skin you know the sc- the scabs but the internal was the whole digestive tract you know all of the intestine and what i found is that was coated in a mucus uh, parasites you know heavy metals whatever else is in there to coat that lining to where we can't assimilate and access the nutrients in what we're ingesting so as i cleared that out and it was years as i cleared that out i would get scabs all across my chin and around my mouth especially but all uh, really heavy on the chin. And that was a direct reflection. I looked it up in Chinese medicine on this on the charts, and it showed that that was a direct mirror of what was going on in the digestive tract. Wow, that is really cool. That kind of deep cleansing. Mm-hmm. And you would attribute that mostly to the blue-green algae, to the structured water. And the fulvic, the fulvic acid. Fulvic acid, which is a yeah. certain type of very assimilable minerals. Mm-hmm. Right. So all these abilities, you know, to clean up the body, it, it makes everything happen. All these clear senses can fully be expressed 
once we have the clarity within the cells and within the pathways of the body. And yes. I noticed that effect directly, you know, even more recently. And then as the solar energies are upgrading our DNA from the exterior, we're able to handle that much easier. Yes. We were talking about the solar energies and the Schumann resonance and um, how I bet you a lot of people have had this. Um, both of us were expressing that we've had times when we just get hit and we just have to lie down and go to sleep. Like for me, when that happens, it's like there ain't no staying awake. It's just yeah. out. And, and it may be 10 minutes. It may be a half an hour, but yeah. it is like so deep and so far out. And I feel like my whole neurobiology is being rebuilt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you, you notice a change after that, after you wake up, you know, right. for that little nap. Yeah. Right. And these different um, Claire senses, I think they're beautiful. Um, if you want to read through them, I know that yeah. as you read them, I'd like each person to just think, you know, who hears this, what is beginning to be more available to you as you are in this ascension process, as you are in your own clarification, clearing, upscaling process, because I know mine have really expanded. Yes, and all of these relate to our intuition. So right. you know, to, uh, to have these all clear, uh, the intuition, we can trust it, you know, and we should. Yes. So clairvoyant is the first one there, it's clear seeing, and clear audience, clear hearing, clear cognizance, clear knowing, clear intellect, clear thinking, clear emotion, clear, yeah, clear empathy, clear emotion, clear sentience, clear physical feeling, clear an antigency. Yeah, I haven't heard of that yeah, one before. Clear, yeah, that's a different one. Clear, clear tangency. An agency, agency. Uh huh. Clear, clear touching. Clear touching. Hmm. So, and clear salience, clear smelling, clear augustance. Clear tasting. Clear tasting. Yeah. yeah. I know that, I mean, I think things and they happen. I need something, it comes to me. Right. I think of somebody, I hear from them. I mean, it's pretty constant these days. Just amazing. It amazes me every single day. Mm -hmm. That's just it. You know, it's like uh, as we get closer and closer to raise, you know, raise our frequency into the next dimension, we're able to use these senses in a expanded way, you know, and, and, and trust it and tap into it. Right. So you will say this is from Credo Mutwa, a uh, African shaman elder that had a lot of wisdom. Shown he was him. amazing. And I think he passed on a few years ago, didn't he? Um, yes, he did. Yeah, and he was, was very powerful. powerful, and he mm -hmm. carried a lineage from the stars. Quite. He carried um, very powerful tools that were mm -hmm. rare, and he was a really amazing. I'm just getting chills talking about him. I feel like right. he's overlighting us as we share this story. Right. Yeah, I think he passed in 2020 or 2021. Yeah, yeah. just re fairly recently. Relatively recent. So. Yeah. Very amazing. So beautiful. And these people knew the spiritual nature of the six, the nine extra clear senses. That's right. Yeah. So, and this is a huge thing with the graphene. You know, we go back to the graphene oxide in uh, all of our environment anymore. You know, it's in water, air, uh, food. It's, it's just permeating. And whether it's through chemtrails or other means, it's, it's just there. So cleansing our bodies is so important so that these mm -hmm. things are, are cleared right. out. Right. So I've been getting a huge amount of this graphene out of my body and it's a smell of like a smell, a taste of metal oh, wow. and a, as it's coming out. So yeah, it's just been a huge, huge thing to go through. And you know that, so the Wi-Fi, all these frequencies are moving this stuff around in the body and Great. One of the tools we have is primordial food. It is the most extraordinary discovery is the ability of AFA to stimulate stem cell release and migration, making AFA the first natural compound known to stimulate the natural innate phenomenon of healing, regeneration, and repair in the human body. And this I is one thing it. I did. I did a, a seven-day water fast with one tablespoon of this blue green algae powder. 
in structured water. And at the end of seven days, I could see the energy field around my cell phone. Wow. So it, was, it was really amazing. Very cool. Very, very cool. So AFA is the highest known source of chlorophyll. E3 Live is 100% AFA. AFA stands for aphosomenon plus aqua. Wow. And it's the name of the, I guess, the scientific name of the, of the organism. I'm going to let your number and your email scroll by on the bottom here again if people want to stop the video and write those down or be sure. able to get a hold of you. I'm sure you'll get some questions on how sure. to access some of this stuff. Sure. Yep. And there's a, the chlorophyll is vital for the body's rapid assimilation of amino acids and can build a stronger you. And this is the thing to understand about the blue green algae is the amount of protein available. Uh, it's, it has a super high concentration of the amino acids, including B12. And so this is, this is a big, big one for those, especially going plant-based, you know, where you may be lacking in nutrients that you got otherwise. This is a, a key filler for maintaining balance through the transition and, and beyond. Nice. And so when you did your seven day water fast with the tablespoon of blue green algae per day, you were putting that in a gallon of water, right? And so it dissolved. I, just put, it in a, I put it in a quart of water and, and just stirred it up and drank it right then. Ah. So cool. now I've done more and just, uh, you know, letting it sit overnight and just drinking the water and pouring off the settling. It's kind of this more of a muddy right. so solid. And I've been doing that and doing several flushes, you know, or three or four flushes of that before I give it to the plants or something. Nice. And, but it, either way, you know, so you just dump the powder in your smoothie or drink it straight, uh, however one. it works for you. And so when you pour the water off, you'll refill the jug again with right. the solids and do right. several. Oh, good. Do several of them, yeah. Nice. So, and then I just it's give the salts. And you would either put it in the fridge or add like a uh, drop of oregano oil or something to right. keep it. Right, you could uh, even peppermint. You could add peppermint, but I do put it in the fridge overnight so that yeah, it maintains the integrity a little bit more. Nice. Because, uh, yeah. Very good. And this is the, the water that uh, will be available in overnight or say 12 hours at least. It, it, the water looks like this. That is just off the scale. So, Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. So fasting is really, really the key to, you know, in nature, you see animals when they get sick or injured, you know, they go into a fast and it's like for the same with, with humans, you know, typically we get feeling bad somehow and we stop eating and everybody, you know, typically it's like, oh, you need to eat in order to uh, heal. And it's actually the opposite. So humankind oldest, and most important natural remedy, short-term fasting, 16 to 36 hours facilitates growth hormone, increase right. of up to five-fold resulting in fat burning, muscle gain, and anti-aging benefits. Short-term fasting lowers insulin levels significantly, further facilitating fat burning. Fasting can starve out cancer cells while protecting immune system during chemotherapy. Short-term fasts have been shown to improve Alzheimer's symptoms in nine to 10 nine out of 10 patients. Fasting helps clear skin, induces autophagy, a process where cells repair themselves. Beautiful. And, and it really is. This is what I've experienced. You know, fasting is the clarity you get, you know, just going through it. And typically the third, second to third day, especially the third day is the toughest as you change over to ketosis where it's burning the fat right a new a new fuel yeah we've been doing intermittent fasting so mm -hmm. we're doing 16 to 18 hours a day and we right. really love it um just right. it's easy it's not even difficult and then you figure you're activating stem cells you're mm -hmm. getting cell repair anti-aging the body can clean out all the little old garbage your insulin levels normalize uh, or stabilize. Yeah. It's just really yeah. good. Stuff. That is a, a very good uh, way to, to do fasting for anybody. Cause you can just do long-term intermittent. I do the same That's thing. Right. It's just easy. It's really easy to, to maintain. And it's, 
it starts you on the path of discipline. So yes. as you explore that, you know, you, you get inspired to do different things. But yeah, Very that's good. A really good. Yeah. I'm putting out um, a, a series of videos on this as well on intermittent fasting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and, and also the water, back to the water we drink. The structured water is oxygen, oxygenated water that is readily accepted by the body and helps energize the whole body. Dead water, it's distilled, reverse osmosis is dead water. It pulls electrolytes and minerals out of the body and carries very little free oxygen. Tap water, though it still contains the natural minerals, it also contains powerful toxins. So the water we're drinking is, is the key to life. It's, it's life or death in just the water. And that's why, you know, having toxins in, in water, there's a huge, it's a huge destructive industry in the delivery of water anywhere in the world. So yes. you know, we're talking the pipes, all the materials that deliver water from one point to the next is a lot of toxicity going into right. that water. So even if the water started in a spring or a well that was so-called pure, by the time it gets to people that are using it, it's, it can be quite toxic. Yes. So we can, we can mitigate all of that. And it's really huge to, to restructure the groundwater to give it that. Oh, they talk about springs being mature water when it's actually pushed up through the earth pressures to the surface. It's the water has been matured by vortexing versus wow. just like like an underground pool of water. Mm. So with these with the structuring technology, we can put these in line in the well and recirculate some water back into the ground and actually mature that water before it's pumped. Fascinating. Fascinating. Let's see if we can move through some of these. Um, we got quite a few slides sure. to go, but really great info. Our beautiful earth is a land of alternate realities. Worlds within worlds are available to all of us due to the water, which graces the planet. If you tune into the water and it's cosmic hydrogen, you allow more and more hydrogen into the hydrogen receptors within your body. This is when you live in a multiverse. The multiverse then feeds you the mysteries and the glory of the cosmos. Hydrogen connects you to other worlds rich with information for your soul. Listening, listen to a babbling brook and connect yourself to the richness of spirit. Oh, that is fabulous. That's really nice. Yeah, because water is hydrogen and oxygen. Exactly. That's just making me thirsty for some exactly, really good yeah. structured water. <laughs> All water, even the glass of water, is connected to all the rest of the water in the rest of the world. Masaru Emoto. Yes. When I did my plasma tour, we had peace GANs, which is the water from the GANs, and we mixed it together from different countries, all different places around the world, and then we poured it into the waters, which are all connected. Um, so that was a really beautiful experience. I love it. It's alchemy. It's just fascinating. Yeah. You know, the cleaner your physical body, the higher your vibrational frequency will resonate at. This is known in many civilizations to strengthen the connections with your soul. Though, as you could imagine, this works both ways. And having more polluted vessel will, in turn, weaken the resonance, resonancy of your physical body, drastically reducing your auric field. Is known in many parts of the world that when your body is cleansed from the toxins we have ingested in the past and dietary adjustments are made to consume high vibratory fruits, vegetables, grains, etc., your ability to manifest your own reality is boosted immensely. Mm, we are creators. Yes, this is really good. The majority believes that everything hard to comprehend must be very profound. This is incorrect. What is hard to understand is what is immature, unclear, and often false. The highest wisdom is simple and passes through the brain directly into the heart. Beautiful. So that's a Victor Schauberger. If you thirst for knowledge, if you thirst for truth, if you hunger for the love given by the creative essence of the all, you will find that in yourself and in the primordial waters of hydrogen. Mm. And this is, this is really profound because... Nothing moves in the universe without the presence of hydrogen. 
Beautiful. So in structured water, do you get more hydrogen? More hydrogen. To understand water is to understand the cosmos, the marvels of nature and life itself. Mm, it's fabulous. this profound statement, Masara Moto again. And this is our pineal gland. This is the pineal gland and the pineal gland on fluoride. You can see on the right is the red wow. inflammation in the pineal gland. And this mm. is one of the keys things I've found out with the, besides fluoride is, is mercury and also the uh, lithium. So lithium is a drug given to people to, you know, dumb them down in a sense. Right. And I found, I got the DARPA put out, they have a patent anyway on a graphene hydrogel and mm. the, right. the I'm hydrogel. Familiar with that. Yeah, it is, I found out it has lithium and also particles of, like nanoparticles of nylon. And that's what I've seen coming out of my nasal. And so this parks right next to the pineal gland and these little uh, graphene crystals are pointed right at the pineal gland. Amazing. So, yeah, like a, you know, they're modulating our brain in, in what we're ingesting. So, so it's really important for us to be wise and smart and be detoxing ourselves from all these things. And that's one of the things that you've specialized in and mm -hmm. through such simple, pure methods, right. um, which is like the structuring of water. I heard Greg Braden just say the other day that the toxins in our environment make the shell around our DNA spirals more mm -hmm. hard. And when we clean those out, then the DNA spiral has more fluidity to fully express our creative being. Right, right. And it's also the same with negative and positive emotions. Mm -hmm. So structuring is super important. Structure your water, structuring water enhances all water, tap water, bottled water, irrigation water, shower and bath water improves the energetic quality of life. Coherent, balanced, structured water. Structured water is nature's water. The main contingent of structured water is life force energy. And that life force energy comes down to the water molecule itself. The water molecule has the power and individual mandate to protect life. It's mandate to protect all living things from the things that are adverse to life and, gener and to generously provide and enhance the things that are good and beneficial for life. This is what structured water does. It brings in the nutrients and takes out the garbage. So that's I one of the keys. It. Is, is really that effect of bringing the nutrients and taking out the garbage. It's very nice. It's there. And this is interesting because what I found testing water, this is the TDS meter for total dissolved solids in the water. Mm. And the higher the number is, is more, you could say detrimental or, or hard in the, on a scale. And so from 300 on, generally speaking, is the ability for the water to scale. Like if you notice hard water scale, uh, you know, after the coming out of the faucet, um, it, it would take more energy, like say the, in the structuring units, more energy to mitigate that to where it wouldn't scale up anymore. And I've found this effect, the more energy I can have, so I have three or four, however many units it takes to in line in succession, uh, the amount of energy that would, that keeps it from scaling, even in the uh, shower, all the, the sinks and stuff, it's like this silky feel when you get to that point where it no longer scales. So, uh, you know, anything below, like in the 200s or, and less, usually one unit is all you need to, to maintain. That's amazing. And you're talking about a water structuring unit, right? Right. Changing one thing can change everything. And, that's and I have one of those right. little units right there that I got, I got from you back nine years ago. Right. Um, I'm going to put your banner up again. So if people want to okay. contact you and find out how to get these things, they oh, can, sure, yeah. they can pause yeah. the screen and write down your number. Cause this is really important stuff. Sure. Yeah. This is it to set the stage for the evolutionary journey to the higher dimensions. I love that. Thank you for saying that. You want to say that one more time, Tom? Yes, this is this is a structured water or enlivened, you know, energized water is the key is to set the stage for entering the higher dimensions. Beautiful. So scientists have found piezoelectric microcrystals inside the pineal gland. Cosmic antenna to higher dimensions is inside our head. And these mm -hmm. are the, the tools we're talking about are decalcifying this 
pineal gland. So it has this yes. ability to, to connect. Yes. Did you know Pythagoras was a fruitarian? The ancient Greeks before the time of Lycurius ate nothing but fruit and each generation reached the age of 200 years. Now you've been kind of doing fruitarian the last few months, haven't you? Yes, and this is huge in the sense that the, the fruit carries structured water naturally. So as right. the fruit, as the water travels in through the plant, it becomes re-energized to the, to the fullest potential. So the issue is when you have sprays and non-organic and or biodynamic ways of polluting these fruits, you know, that takes it down. But the nice thing we can do is bring the structured water from the house or the faucet where, where we're at and soak the fruits and vegetables in this structured water and re rehydrate it and re let's see also to mitigate the toxins. So Beautiful. I've had it like an apple that's been sprayed. If you taste the skin, it's bitter. And right. I can leave that apple in structured water, soak it there for half an hour, you know, maybe 40 minutes and it will turn it sweet again. Nice. So I that's a really it. good example. I love it. Every seeker after truth must remember one thing that the first step in the path of truth is to become true to oneself. And that's really, really where it's at because nobody's going to do this for us. Absolutely. No one. That's right. And if, if we don't choose it, it's just not going to happen. So, and, and be confident that it's about remembering who we are, who yes. we are as powerful creators and, Death is, a, is an illusion in the sense that once we're aware of it, of what we can do to be powerful, it's a non-factor anymore. Yes, absolutely. I so love easy. this because I really feel like it is an addiction that's been created by the advertising industry that we put all these chemicals on our bodies. Mm -hmm. And I have a whole protocol for the hair that is, I haven't used shampoo, but maybe seven times in seven years and mm -hmm. uh and i'll use conditioner every once in a blue moon just to comb out my hair because it'll dread on its own but all these mm -hmm. things are just and i have all natural products that i make um and i think this is a mystery that we need to kind of reacquaint ourselves with mm -hmm. how to not be putting these chemicals on our bodies right so how many people are in that world where they're cleansing and they're still putting the stuff on the skin. So right. it's just that we need to be more holistic in our approach, you know? And so everything, I, I love this because, you know, it's a, coming into a new house or a new place is up. I would like to just go through and get rid of everything, you know, that yeah. is somebody's place, you know, it's just like, yeah, let's get rid of this and get rid of that. And yeah. you could replace them with fantastic products, you know, whatever right. you want is available, yeah. but just to be aware of what's actually in the products you use. And that's the first step. Yeah. So read the labels. Yes. Their goal, you know, and that's that's one of the things to reduce reduce humanity. It's a, you know, it's like John D. Rockefeller said, we want a nation of workers, not nation of thinkers. So that's Big all the quote. tools they have to to dumb us down, you know, to keep us. And you notice people that just have enough enough intellect, I guess, to run a machine. And then at the same time, you know, it's like these professors or people that have gone through the education system, you know, they, they, as far as uh, logic, a lot of it escapes them, you know, if something common sense or these kind of things, they really don't have ability to have a conversation about it. And that's right. why it's because of all these things that have been used against it. And so we're talking about really wonderful ways to help combat this just by cleaning up our own microcosm. So this is the graphene oxide coming out of my brain. And this is what, when I mentioned about going through hell, oh. you know, this is an example. This is your the, head, right? The back that's of your this, head. That's this, this my top of my head scalp. Oh, the top of your head. I thought yeah. that was a knee. That is so no, amazing. No, this is so that and all over, you know, the whole area of, of this whole surface of the top of my head at, at one point, you know, at some time was, was erupting with this stuff. And so Tom, what were you doing to cleanse? Just give us like the 30 second right. rundown. So the simple thing is structured water, fulvic powder and the AFA powder. So and fulvic, how much humic and, and AFA I was doing, 
you know, the fulvic powder, I would say one to two teaspoons daily. And, mm. and you can go up. So all of these things are natural and they do not, uh, they do not harm the body. It's the only thing that, that matters, what you'll feel is the ability of you to handle the detox uh, right. as, it's, as it's coming out. And that's why I say nature's intelligence is the best. So I just, I just throw it, you know, like put as much as I intuitively guided to, to drink or consume at, right. the, at a time and then allow that to play out because my body will only give me what I can handle as and far so as the, the pain. Were you consuming any food at the same time or you were just doing fulvic um, blue green algae and structured water? No, I was consuming all what I normally eat. So the okay. ba basically, whatever you're going to eat, just throw on some fulvic powder on there and the blue green or, or one or both. But especially the fulvic, I would put on everything. Okay. So whatever I'm ingesting, whether it's liquid or, or solid, I'm putting the fulvic on there. So that's when this stuff is coming out. Great. Amazing. And this is uh, the graphene oxide under microscope. This is a one to 2,000 power microscope. And I just took a picture with my is phone. Is this that came out of your body or this yes. is just? No, this, this is, is what, what came, came out, out of my body. Of your body. Yeah. Oh. This, is, this is absolutely insane. If I had to describe this to anybody, this is insanity. Yes. And to get this stuff out is, you know, you, you really need to do the work to get this out. Uh, it was all intuition. You know, nobody told me how to do this. It's and incredible. People, and this is a little bit with the red blood cell, but it comes out like a scab. It's super sore. And then I put oregano oil right on it to mitigate the soreness. Uh -huh. And then, and then it scabs up. And so this is like uh, peeling off the scab, but then I look under the microscope and, and there it is. So you see a little bit of the red blood That's cells there incredible. too. Incredible. And we want to thank whoever, um, different individuals who made these slides and um, thankful. And we are using them under the Creative Commons license. So we're grateful for that. Yeah. So this is the key to get the graphene oxide out. That's the way that they've been reducing the population. That's the number one. So you can read the story about the Falkland Islands War. And they did it over this black goo. And black goo is another term for the graphene oxide. And you Can see you how say graphene, again what the, is it a book or a? Um... The, uh, online, I don't think it's a book. There's a, just type in Falklands War Black Goo. Falklands type, War Black Goo, right. Yeah. I remember when uh, yeah. Harold Kotzevella started talking about black goo mm -hmm. probably at least 10 years ago. And, mm -hmm. uh, and I listened to that and I was just blown away. And, right. uh, but you feel this goes back to the graphene hydroxide. Yes. Yeah, that's amazing. And you think yeah. it's been in um, chemtrails and that kind of it's thing as well for a, for a long time. It's been yeah. in so many products under our nose and even the, the technological advancements, you know, where AI was a factor that was that was enhanced with black goo. That's incredible. Yeah, that's it. So we all have this in our body. You know, this is just people if they're not getting rid of it, you know, there's another layer for you to, to get to just just know that this is. You know, not many people are at this level. Of, and it's so simple to, you know, yes. for me, I've, I've distilled yes. it, distilled the information where I've read and experienced, distilled it down to something so simple that I can just share with anybody that's willing to do the work. This is fabulous. I love knowing you. It's kind of like, I am just so grateful that there are people that are digging so deep. And I just mm -hmm. bow to the divine in you, the wisdom in you, the intelligence in you. I'm so glad that we met um, those years ago and that we've been able to keep exchanging information. And I want to encourage yes. people to keep in touch, keep rebuilding community, seek those who know, listen to the answers, apply them. We are 21st century superhuman um, we're also building some member content areas at our website, which is 21stCenturySuperhuman.com. So, Tom, this is such exciting info. And um, um, here I, comes your phone number, your email. If anybody wants to stop the video and write those down and get a hold of you, you can help them access these tools and materials. And um, right. we just want to thank you for the gentle walk that you have and um what you're doing that's just ongoing, experimenting with yourself, cleansing yourself. And um, and I've had a lot of these kind of experiences as well, but I think you're really digging deep. And um, I just thank you for 
one of my friends always says, yeah, we're our own best Guinea people. <laughs> right. We really are. Yeah. Really are. And, and the other thing is like all the moles, like, uh, you know, dark spots or what they call sunspots. So all this can be removed, you know, naturally yeah. from inside. That's mm -hmm. Plus, I want you to tell the story um, of your aunt and the structured water because, oh, yes. you know, this simple thing of structured water. I mean, I have one of those little small devices and we mm -hmm. pour our water through that. Mm -hmm. And and you have other units that you can put mm -hmm. in the house. You can put on your shower. You can put on your hose. You can put on the water system coming into your house. Right. You can put it into your farm fields. And uh, when it, such a simple, pure way, because nature naturally purifies water, and we don't get it that way very much anymore. And mm -hmm. if we were living like the Native Americans out in the wilderness or something, we would be. And mm -hmm. I used to live in the mountains, and I would drink out of a mountain stream when I knew there weren't right. a lot of sheep and goats above me mm -hmm. with um, who could have put Giardia in the water. Yeah. And that is amazing when you do that and so that and the blue green algae which again as you said is that closest one of the closest steps to light being manifest in this dimension mm -hmm. here and so the structured water the blue green algae and the fulvic minerals and fulvic minerals are a mineral that has it's in a state that our body can actually really assimilate it do you have a short explanation for fulvic Yes, it's it, the one I use is come from a peat bog, you know, and I know the black oxygen term has been a scandal with the FDA and but I've been using it through throughout all of it. So I continue to use it and it's perfect, but it's come from a peat bog. So it's fossilized plant material that has been, uh, you know, thousands of years underground. So they're bringing right. that up and re refining it into a black powder that is just very similar. You could put this powder on a glass of water on top of the surface and just let it naturally uh, assimilate and it will totally dissolve in the water without any stirring. So it's very nice. fine. Yeah. We were using fulvic minerals back in the 1980s when we healed my broken arm with the Dr. John Ray body electronics point holding. We healed my broken arm in three hours. We were drinking like gallons of fulvic mm -hmm. minerals when we did that, which makes mm -hmm. perfect sense because it helps carry the electrical frequencies in the body. Right. Right. You have structured water and minerals, and that's the matrices of our physiology. Right. Well, before we go, tell us your aunt's story about structured oh, yeah. water. That's a really great story. On a brand new house uh, two years ago, uh, my aunt built a brand new house. And I was talking to her brother, my uncle, that, that uh, managed it. And he wasn't ready to b b believe, I guess, or actually experience the structured water. So here we are two years later, and I go to her house and look at the faucet aerator at the end of the faucet, and it's black. It has some white scale, and, and mostly it's like three-quarters of it was totally black. And whether that's graphene or mold, you know, it, I'm, I didn't look at it in the microscope, but the, the fact that was there. So we put a, a structuring unit on the well, and first of all, I put in like just a temporary measure. I put like four of the house units together in line in a hose and just recycle those. So I loop it back into the well. So it's a uh, half inch port on top of the well head that I go to the nearest faucet and just loop it for an hour. And within that hour, all of the pipes throughout the whole house clean out. So there's no, all of that uh, scale and the mold is melted right off, totally cleaned it up like brand new. And so now it's like having a new house again, but it, the effect, is everybody changes. Now everybody that's coming to get those baked goods, one of the things that happened with the bakery uh, process of, of the flour is that everything is softer. And she made the comment multiple times about how soft things are. So when she flipped over like a pan of rolls, it just fell apart where, uh, seam, where the seams are. It just fell apart. It was so soft. That is so the, really so, cool. so the, the softness and the way that it lasts, you know, it lasts multiple days where you don't have this day old stuff. Beautiful. So it, it's just fantastic. That is really cool. I want to thank you so much for being with us. I'm sure we'll have you on again at some point and um, continue the conversation. Yeah, thank you so much. You know, it's, it's a pleasure being on again. And, you know, congratulations to getting the show out again for people. This is the yes. information. Yeah. It's so exciting to be back up and running and doing this again. And mm -hmm. it took me a while kind of to kind of 
sort myself out with the mm -hmm. censoring that was going on and all that. And I had to figure out, well, who am I really, what I want to be doing, what's important. Mm -hmm. And to me, it's just waking up our access to our greater selves. And that's really what it's always been about. So that's what we continue. Thank you, yeah, thank you for what you do. You, you, you're the voice getting it out there. Thank you so much, Tom. And all big right. hugs to you across the miles and um, be well, be blessed. And let's just keep doing this good stuff. Yes. Much okay. love. Thank you. Yep. Adios. And if you're feeling kind of down and you need some inspiration to remember who you are. Whoa, now, child, please don't frown. You can choose a new vibration and these words can take you far. First century superhuman and I know that the answers are inside I am 21st century superhuman now 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 is the time